Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading multi-character listener by me. So let's get into it. Farina Farina was really startled when she heard that noise from your room. In fact, it made her face go entirely red. She had no idea why you would be making that noise or why you would be moaning out her name like that. So, it would be safe to say that she was a little bit more than just simply startled. Startled would be putting it lightly. She was embarrassed and very, very shy. So this was a lot for her to handle. She was almost not sure if she should walk in on you to see what was going on. But she did, with all the bravery in her little body. She went in, poked her head into your room, only to see you cross-legged and smirking at her. So, you came here, huh? Looks like a summoned you for me. You say, and she blushes. Summon me? You cannot summon me at all. I was just worried. <clears throat> you sounded a little bit sick. She said. And you laughed softly. She was a bit dramatic at times. But you could tell from the blush on her face that she knew exactly what you were doing. And you loved that very much. You would love for her to know everything that you do. Just so she can acknowledge the effort and love between you two. And the amount of teasing that you actually put her through. Which was quite a lot. That you almost kind of felt bad. But maybe then, you would also make it less as time went on. However, not even you could be sure of that. And as you looked at her, in her bright red face, you could only wonder what would make you stop trying to embarrass her, especially when she looked so adorable. You got up from your seat and went over to her, wrapping your arms around her. It's alright, Free. There is no need to be so shy. You say, and she huffs. Well, maybe. Try not to make such noise next time. It's beyond embarrassing, Oyan. And totally not dignified. Dignified? Hmm. I'll think about it. If you're so bothered by it, then I guess I will have to listen. You say. And a part of her is not really sure if that's what she wanted. Or look, you know... Harlequino could be very difficult and someone that is impossible to understand. So, seeing her in such a position was sometimes very funny, and trying to tease her was even harder. But here you were, trying your best and hoping that it works out. So, as you said her name, and in what could only be described as moaning, you actually thought she would blush and not that she would walk into the room and look at you with a soft smile. You are adorable, sweetheart. Next time, try to do better if you want my attention so badly. I'm sure you will be able to get it either way. But, you know, you have to sound more convincing. She said, and your heart, oh, your heart was in shambles. You had no idea what to say, but you knew very well that our Lukino could read you better than anyone, and you could never fake anything in front of her. That was simply how difficult she made things be, and you loved her all the more for that. And as she scooted closer to you, wrapping her arms around your waist and pulling you close, you know... If you're gonna go and do that, how about I give you a reason to? She said, and your heart was that close to beating out of its place in your chest. Oh, Arlequino, that's a, uh, that's a little bit bald, isn't it? Well, I'm nothing if not bald. I don't mind being honest about what I desire, darling. Unlike you. Maybe you can tell me when you're feeling a little bit more up for it. But, you know, I'm not in a hurry, she said, kissing your cheek before getting up and leaving. 
as you were stuck in a trance, wondering just what had happened between you two, and what you could do about it, which was probably not really that much. Child. Child was not also someone that you could tease easily, but sometimes it did work, and that's why I wanted to give this a try. You did not actually expect him to be fooled that easily. Because he was right outside your room just a couple moments ago. And now, suddenly, he was at your door, coughing. Um, my on. Uh, I heard some noise, so I was wondering. Are you okay? You sounded sick. Oh? Sick? Well, I'm not sick. Don't you worry, but I'm not sure if sick would be the best descriptor you've got here. Yeah, you're right about that. Well, I could say something else, but I'm not sure if you'd want to hear it. He says, and you blush. You did not actually expect him to just double down, but he was very serious about this. Come on. I'm sure he wouldn't do this, just if he didn't want anything. If you want something, I can give it to you. Whatever it may be. He says, and he blushed brightly, unsure of just what he was about to do. Because this, all at once, was a little bit too intense. And he did not actually expect him to do anything at all. What do you mean? Give me what? Exactly. He smirked, walking closer. You know exactly what I mean. But for now, I can give you a kiss. Call it a free trial. He says with a chuckle. And without further warning, wraps his arms around you and pulls you into a soft kiss, making you blush as you close your eyes against him. Your arms wrapping around his neck as he pulled you even closer, enveloping you into his warmth and love. And maybe it had gone off a little bit too intimate at first, but most of the time, you can depend on him to love you, just as you had always wanted and wished to be loved. That would be something you could always easily get with child, without worrying about it at all.